A good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. You're most welcome to module one, which is One Health Concept in Community Public Health Systems. It's going to run for about six days. And the module is sponsored by Afrohun with the support of Makere University. I'm Dr. Penny Nansamba from College of Veterinary Medicine, Animal Resources, and biosecurity. I'll be facilitating on this module. I'll start by congratulating you for completing module familiarization of Muele, which you've been doing for the last week. You've now obtained login credentials. You can log into the learning management system that is Makere University e-learning environment. Yes. You've made contact with your multidisciplinary discussion group members. Could have done this via WhatsApp chat, which is very popular, or using the discussion forum on the learning management system, Muele. You've posted material onto the discussion group online. Congratulations. You've also seen material posted by your team members online. And some of you have managed to reply to these discussions. You've even managed to submit an assignment online. Congratulations. These competencies are going to become very handy in the module that we're going to do in the next week. For those who've not managed to do module familiarization, I want to encourage you to go and do it so that you get this skills or competencies. So during this uh, short movie, I'm going to show you how to navigate on Macquarie University in learning environment and particularly on this module that you have been enrolled on. We're going to briefly look at the announcements, study guide, which has got the timetable, mode of assessment, learning outcomes, and how we're going to interact online on the discussion forum as opposed to the WhatsApp chat. So if you've logged into Muele, I want to go there briefly. This is what you're going to see. Module one, One Health Concepts in Community Public Health. That's the title and this is the code. Take care of this announcement corner. It has got major events that are coming up. Below it is a welcome message. A welcome message tells you, guides you to the study guide, um, module outline, and other resources from the main lab library or the university policy. But right now I'm interested in the study guide because this is going to be a reference point for this module and it will keep us on our toes during the next week. So let's go to the study guide. This is the study guide. Page one has got the name of the module. Um, it's got the instructors, those who develop the module. Page two has got the copyright licenses. Page three has got a statement from Quality Assurance Directorate, Macquarie University. Please read it. So does page four. You're welcome to go through it. Now, page five interacts with me, the facilitator. It has the welcome message and it has addresses which you can refer to in case you can't find me. It's a cell phone and there's an email address there. Next, we go to the course overview. It has the aim of the course, the learning outcomes. This being an online course, you're going to lose, use these learning outcomes to assess and gauge yourself and see whether you've grasped the material that we have put on the learning management system. See whether you're able to agree with the learning outcomes that we have put in this document. It has the grading, 
They're going to be individual, uh, individual assignments, group assignments, and group discussions and projects. So you're going to be assessed individually as a group. And even when you're on that group, there's a personal contribution you bring on board. That's going to be assessed. So let's go to the constructive alignment on the course. It tells you a list of, um, a list of competencies that you're going to be able to achieve once you complete this module. You can go through it. The next table is important. It shows you the activities or the activities that are taking place throughout the week. And it shows you the days on which they occur and the learning outcome they are addressing. So ground zero is well on day one and it has no learning outcome, but it's going to be assessed using a discussion forum. When we go to day, um, the next topic, the health systems in Uganda, it's again on day one. It is addressed by intended learning outcome one. There are no assessments. Remember the intended learning outcomes have already been listed above here in the study guide and so on. So this gives you a quick overview of what to expect. If I really, I am interested in infectious diseases and the drivers of these inf emerging infectious diseases, it's easy for me to look through and say, okay, infectious diseases will be captured on day two and three. I can look at the learning outcomes that uh, are governing the material there and I'm orientated and well-grounded on the course. So this is the course outline, although it's given among the resources separately, you can also find it in the study guide. It has the references, all the learning materials are here, all the review articles that we've given and the websites are put here, you can refer to them. Now this table, last table is also very important. We've given you activities to do in the module and their deadlines. So this table tells you the ETVT and when it's due. Choosing group leaders is due by Monday the 21st, 10 p.m. The pre-module survey is also due by 10 p.m. on Monday. That's the first day. So for evaluation quiz, well, that's on Tuesday the second day. Can see the discussion forum it's on the third day wednesday and the peer review on the discussion forum is on the fifth day there's an evaluation survey all on the sixth day so in brief this is the study guide and it's going to help you navigate the course so let's go back to the course we've looked at the study guide now the discussion forums and in this discussion forums we are going to move our discussion from WhatsApp to the discussion forum and moderate it on the discussion forums. I belong to team um, Zebras. So you notice uh, the discussion forums here are restricted by teams and none of these teams are permissible to me. When I put my cursor over them, nothing happens except team Zebras which I'm part of. So this is ground zero. I joined the discussion forum. What am I supposed to do? Suggest a team leader and suggest a, a secretary. So I'll come here, add a new discussion forum, a new discussion topic, say for team leader, team leader. I suggest, Sandra, she is, um, she's always available. Okay, I post it on the forum. So that's an attribute for my suggestion as team leader. 
ground zero. So my fellow participants will come read my suggestion for team leader and maybe say, um, you suggest Sandra, someone will reply and say, um, no, I think John is best. He is more organized. Host on the forum. Let other team members contribute. And at the end, the team leader is going to go through the moderator discussion. And then you'll come out at the end and say, OK, we think Sandra has been suggested by more team members. So we shall take her on as our team leader. So to lead the discussion forum, team leader, round zero, go back to the course modules. I mean, go back to the list of topics for the courses. So this is how we are going to do the discussion. I want you to move away from WhatsApp and put the general this flow of the discussion onto Muwele. So let's look at another discussion forum, the COVID response. What worked and didn't work? Again, at the moment, the discussion is restricted to groups. It will maybe opened up later on. Team Zebras. There's a lot of work posted here, which is due by Wednesday, 23rd of February. You can go to the discussion. Click on the um, click on this to discuss what went right or wrong during COVID. Reply to this chat. So someone else will give a reply to this chat. Um, and another person will build on this reply and another will build on it. And that is it. That's what we want to see. We want to see the discussion moving out of Muwele, I mean, out of WhatsApp and coming onto Muwele. With that, I'd like to say thank you. Looking forward to seeing on this module. Thank you.